Have you or someone you know been affected by cancer? Uh, so my grandmother had leukemia. She was, oh my God, she's one of my best friends. She's part of the reason why I became a teacher. Because she was a teacher. Have you or someone that you know been affected by cancer? Uh, fuck, dude. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes. A lot of people. It runs in the family. I've lost three uncles and a grandpa all from colon cancer. My grandmother, my grandfather, actually two of my favorite aunts. Have you ever been affected by cancer? By cancer? Yeah. Uh, my friend recently got diagnosed with cancer, actually. My best friend from high school's mom. Best friend's dad. She was 33 years old. She was my wife's roommate and best friend. She was brilliant and beautiful and loving. And fuck cancer. Have you ever lost anyone to cancer? No but I'm scared that I will because my mom has cancer right now. My mother was diagnosed with cancer. I was and I still am her interpreter and so I was there for like every step of the way. My mom, she died in 2016 with breast cancer. Have you ever been affected by cancer? Have I been affected by cancer? No. 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 I have not. Not in my personal life, not yet. Luckily, no. I mean, actually, yes, I forgot. I completely forgot. My grandma had skin cancer but it was one of those where she cut it off she was, and she was fine. <laughs> so, yeah, shout out to your grandma. Then. Shout out to the grandma. I've had quite a few people in my life with cancer, but thankfully she survived it. Fully recovered. It's getting better, but you know, as of right now, it could come back. Have you been affected by cancer? Yes, I have, because I have uh, cancer. I have brain cancer on the left side, so I'm still kind of going through some of the treatment and stuff, and trying to just even come to terms with it and how I live now. Have you or someone you know been affected by cancer? My uncle. He's had it multiple times in different areas of his body. It's hard for me to like get down there and like go support him physically. He had depression for like two years after he got diagnosed, but he's better now. He's starting to accept the fact that he have it. It's a heaviness that's hard to navigate because a lot of times when people say the word cancer, they immediately think death. And that person is treated no longer as a person who's still here, but people immediately are like, you're gonna die, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. And that's not what they wanna hear. Have you or someone that you know been affected by cancer? Yes, I have four sisters that had breast cancer. My first husband, he died from um, the lung cancer thing. My aunt had breast cancer, and it was just scary to like be there watching everything go on. It literally goes like this when you're with that person. And I don't hold them responsible for their, you know, process. I want to just be stable. But yeah, cancer is, uh, cancer is the worst. <laughs> Have you or someone you know been affected by cancer? My sister had cancer. Do you know how she found out? I think she started getting really sick. He couldn't keep food down. When it's like undeniable something's wrong is when he went in. She had a tumor on her brain and at first they thought that it was benign, but later found out that it was not. When I found out, I was like, oh, but like they have a cure for that and they were like, not really. I remember being like, oh, it's stage four. Did he survive it? No, he did not. By the time he was able to go see a doctor about it, it had metastasized, and uh, yeah, he passed away. Um, a lot of my family has actually passed away from various cancers. What kind of cancer? Blood cancer, breast cancer, leukemia. Melanoma, ovary cancer. Prostate cancer? Colorectal. Pancreatic. Lung. After he got diagnosed, he only had like a few months to live. He like passed shortly after the diagnosis. That's probably my biggest regret in my life is not calling her. I lost my aunt to ovarian cancer. Our family was taking care of her. She had to live in my room and I felt so bad in the sense of, I just didn't want to share my space with her and I kind of just made her not feel the most welcome when she was at her lowest point, I regret. Being so selfish as a teenager. I was like very young and I didn't really know how to handle it. I cried a lot as a kid, I had to go to therapy. It definitely changed kind of like the attitude in my family um, in a good way. It made us all a lot closer. Because I'm not able to love my mother in this time, 
um, since she's been gone, it, it makes me like love even harder. It didn't affect me as much as it affected my dad because it was his dad. And so my mom knows how it changed him, but I was so young, I don't really remember. Your mom has said it changed your dad? Yeah. For the worse? Yeah. Have you or someone you know been affected by cancer? My grandfather passed away an hour before I was born in the same hospital. My mom told me that he would have taken me fishing a lot. And he sounds like a cool guy. Back in November, my grandmother actually passed away from pancreatic cancer, so. You miss her? Definitely. And I wish you could talk to her and tell her and be like, hey, she's part of the reason why I became a teacher. Because she was a teacher. He uh, touched a lot of lives, and I can, I can see his face in my mind now, yeah, and I can hear his laugh. I and mean, the rational part of me thinks, you know, he was older, he was definitely declining, and then the other very emotional part of me just thinks how sad that was to see him laying in a hospice bed. Just seeing him go from himself to not himself was just hard. Watching someone you love deteriorate and change and turn and like, fight but like don't want help and like want help but then it's just like uh, it's hard to find balance sometimes. Have you or someone you know been affected by cancer? I have, yeah. Actually very recently. <laughs> yeah, wait. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I lost my grandpa to cancer and we actually were not super close because he lived in India and I tried to see him like one more time before he passed away and I actually missed him by like a couple days. So, and it was because I was interviewing for a job, I wanted to get it done. And he was like so proud of me that I was doing that, but I didn't get the job and I didn't see him. I don't know if I'll ever get over that. Like I didn't get to see him like since I was a child. Have you or someone you know been affected by cancer? Recently, my dad, had a cancer scare and luckily like things worked out but you know it's it's always like the threat like it could come back it kind of does feel like cancer is inevitable completely out of your hands it does scare me do you take extra precautions or get checked yes because i have really big titties and it run in my family yeah i'm always a checking i'm paranoid about it now uh, because it is genetic and uh, i've had two colonoscopies. It's definitely important to get yourself checked and even do your self-checks at home. What do you wish more people knew about cancer? I just wish we, in general, knew more about cancer. Like with my radiation, they're like, there's two options you could do. Uh, which one do you want to do? We don't really know which one would be more helpful for you or anything, so you just got to pick. And it's really terrifying because it's just weird to like go to a doctor and then be like, I don't know. Have you or someone you know been affected by cancer? I've lost two of my grandparents to cancer. Now I'm a scientist that works in a cancer research center, so I get to feel like I've put forth my efforts into solving a little bit of that problem. I used to work at a hospital, and I've been around a lot of people who happen to be sick, but one, one uh, patient in particular really impacted me. She was younger, she was a singer. Um, she had terminal cancer, and all she did, wanted to do was sing. Um, and she ended up passing away, and I think that to all the singers out there that want to sing, sing.